I don't know who needs to hear this, but it's okay to block people. I'm not saying just blocking social media or contact or anything. I mean like energetically blocking them or like not giving them access into your life. Speak very minimally to these people. It's okay. You're not a bad person for blocking people. If someone gives you a bad vibe, block them. If someone is being disrespectful to you, block them. If one of your supposed friends is friendly to someone that they know you don't get along with, block them. If people haven't done the work to decenter men and worked on their own misogyny, block them. If people don't self-reflect or take personal accountability for their actions in life and are always playing the victim, block them. If you constantly feel drained and exhausted every time you interact with this person, block them. If you have a slight inkling that this person is talking crap behind your back, block them. If you have so-called friends that are jealous of you and your, your accomplishments, block them. If you're psychic or intuitive and you get a dream or a message of this person not having your best interest, block them. The reason why you want to be super clear about your expectations on the types of people you want in your life is because you're bringing those types of people to you. If you're wishy-washy in terms of your expectations of people, you're going to meet people who are wishy-washy people. You're going to meet people who are not sure of you. And most likely, you're going to feel really confused around them. You need to be clear about who you want in your life, what you're going to put up with, and what you won't put up with. Because if you continue to allow people to disrespect you, and you continue to choose to be around people that you know are not good for you, you are making the decision to be blocking yourself from meeting the right people who see you and appreciate you for who you are. I don't know about you, but I when I meet people, I want them to be sure of me. And this goes to romantic relationships, platonic relationships, friendships, all the ships. And what you want is you want people who are sure about themselves so they are sure about you when they see you. What you want is someone to look at you and know intuitively and instinctively that you are amazing you are a good catch you are a good vibe and they need to make sure that that connection is safe and sacred and protected it's like meeting a new friend and they look at you and they're just like you know what you're awesome you are a good vibe and you make my life better you inspire me and they know that they need to take care of that relationship they need to take care of that connection they have to respect you because they know that you are different than the rest or there's something about you that they know that is sacred. It's the same thing with romantic partners. You want someone that goes, oh my gosh, this person is the one. This person is the catch. This person is someone that I highly respect and I know that this person is really special and I really need to do everything that I can to step up to the plate to really be a really good partner to this person. And it can go beyond that. Let's say you're applying for work. There's like people, you don't want people to look at you and be like, eh, not sure whether they should hire you. You want people to look at you and be like, oh my God, you're so talented. You have so much skill. You have so much experience. You are such an asset to our team. You would make it better. And I know that it'd be foolish to not hire you. That's what you want. And it all comes down with how clear you are about what you want in your life. Because if you don't take the time to declutter and sift and sort and remove people that are not in alignment with you, you are essentially not making room for the people who are meant to be in your life. And you can pray as much as you want for meeting the right people. But if you don't do the work to remove and sift and sort the toxicity in your life in terms of the people that are clogging the system up, no amount of prayers is going to work. You have to do the work. You have to love yourself enough to say no more or say thanks, but no thanks. Go on your way. I got to do other things. I got other people to meet. Because if you don't do that, then you're essentially making a choice to stay around those types of people. You're okay with it on some level. I mean, if you're okay with it, then that's fine. But if you're sick and tired of seeing certain types of people in your reality, then you need to start loving yourself a little bit more and knowing that you deserve better. And you need to trust yourself more in knowing that the right people are out there. They exist out there. And you don't need to beg for people to meet you at your level. They just will. Anyways, good talk, good talk. <laughs> <laughs>